Hey, hey, hey everyone, um, this is uh, Django. I uh, just thought I'd um, do a quick video about combat basics in Dragon Age or Dragon Age Origins Awakening stuff thing. Whatever one you're playing, it's pretty much the same shizzle, so um, yeah, you'll get the idea of how it works and all that kind of thing. I'm going to take it, this is going to be only for basics really, so don't expect any massively complex stuff. But just to give you an idea of how it works, um, at the moment, as you can see, I am playing a warrior, uh, a shield and sword warrior, so a kind of tank. Uh, in my group, I have a ranger, which is a rogue class. I've got Ogren, who's a warrior but two handed uh, melee DPS, and Anders, who's one of the new characters in Awakening. Who I've got set up as a battle mage, but also as a healer. Mm, look at him glow. Anywho, um, let's get into it. There's two types of um, combat. This is the first one. You see, I pause the game, and as these werewolves, or these marsh wolves, should I say, who aren't particularly happy, are going to come and want to try and kill me. Um, the first way that you can do your combat is in this pause mode where you can take control of each character and you can effectively set up commands for each one. It's quite handy in some of the harder difficulties but you'll find probably in normal or below you won't really need to use this pause mode all that much including for things like you know taking health pots and stuff. Um, so we'll set up the first one so I've t got control of my warrior at the moment I'll get him a little bit closer. Right, there you go, he's a bit closer now. And the first thing I'm going to get him to do is taunt. So that's the first thing he's going to do. I can select my ranger now, who's just about to shoot. Um, and I'll get him to target that one and that. So you can see as I'm clicking these things, these icons here change. Um, Ogren, who seems to be miles back because he's bit of a short ass. I'll get him to focus on one of the ones furthest away and I'll get him to do a Sunder Armour and for Anders I'll get him instead of doing something offensive I'll get him to buff someone um, so I can you know maybe get him to buff himself I'll put some rock armour on it. Now if I unpause it now you'll see that each one of these icons will change once they do their ability So there you go, two things have happened there. One is my warrior's fired off his taunt, so he's gone to a new ability now. And Anders has fired off his rock armour. I can also move him as well, which can happen as part of the action. And you can see that I've got things above, so you can see when um, you know people are using abilities, they fire off. If we follow Ogren now, he's still running off to that other... There you go. He's managed to put Sunder armour on. But you can also queue up other things like, you know, maybe you've got a lot of mobs around and you want to kind of knock them back, so I'll do War Cry. I can run over and start hitting these. So you can you can queue them up, in other words, uh, in pause mode. Now it's quite, it's probably a bit over the top for a couple of mobs, which is what we've got here. But for a lot of mobs, it can be quite handy um, to pause and to you know, do things like, um, you know, have a health potion on the go or a mana potion. But what I'll do is just finish these guys up and we'll run on and I'll show you the second type of uh, combat which I tend to use more actually. And basically it's in real time. So I kind of move around and I get mobs close to me as I'm playing my warrior and I use my abilities. Now you'll notice that my, the rest of the party is still doing stuff they're still kind of doing various things to help me out killing these mobs or healing me or whatever and that's done using the game's macros and the macros are quite a sophisticated part of the game uh, which you can customise to whatever you're playing uh, and whatever your group can you know consists of so we'll go into that now I'll show you a little bit of that so th here we are this is the tactics view which effectively is like macros. And just to give you an example, here's Anders who, like I said, has got, you know, as a mage, got it set up as my main healer. 
and you can set these things up simply by you know clicking on one and and saying right I want this applied to the character or to an ally or to an enemy and obviously you know um, you can customize each one to do whatever you want so if I show you just some here's one that's got you know if Anders is at less than 50% health he'll heal himself if someone in the party or an ally is less than 50% health he'll heal them and it can get quite complex so you can use start using abilities so if Anders is, is surrounded by at least two mobs um, who are maybe hitting on him and stopping him casting he can use mind blast which knocks them down you you know you can use things like uh, health or mana potions to, uh, depending on what the health and mana po um, status is you can use attacks you can set up things like um, what happens with buffs when to apply them if I choose uh, let's see Nathaniel who's like I said my ranger uh, he can you can even do things like in here you can here's a good example uh, for mark of death I've got it in Nathaniel's tactics to only apply it to a mob that's elite or higher so he won't generally do that the only reason why he would do that is if there's a boss or something or a particularly hard mob that I'm fighting he'll only apply that then uh, because the debuff itself takes a little while and can be a bit of a pain um, to wait for him to finish casting it or whatever you want to call it so I only save that for particular mo uh, a particular rank of a mob but you can set these up to be quite complex um, they are very detailed but what effectively happens is when you're playing in real time your party is kind of doing the things that you want it to do they can support each other and stuff like that so it works pretty well um, as well as that which is obviously there's an awful lot to that whole tactic system so you should check that out if you haven't really dabbled in that the other thing I should mention is about some of the other more complex ways of playing so if I run in here and pause a minute just for example if there if here there was some ranged mobs either casters or people with bows or something you could use your mage to cast something over there to disrupt them uh, you could use earthquake you could use blizzard which would obviously knock down those mobs or effectively keep them out of um, the fight so in other words you can use your melee mobs uh, your melee the melee people in your group even to take out you know mobs that are coming in close get those out of the way and then to move out and uh, take out those range mobs that could be quite a handy tactic in the hardcore modes and stuff like that um, it's quite effective and obviously it helps if you can use some of these abilities which do have area of effects um, on mobs that you kind of want to just leave until you've dealt with the initial threat um, and you can use things like glyph of paralysis and things like that to effectively freeze people or you can use skills so you know some uh, cl some classes you know they can they can learn um, they can learn things like traps and stuff like that so you can use a class like a rogue for example like Nathaniel is, depending on how you've got him spec, he'll have a thing called stealth, so you can stealth in to see where enemies are, and then you can lay traps down, which can effectively do the same as what I was just saying about mages. You know, you can get them stuck in the traps, you pull them in, and they get stuck in the traps, and that effectively takes them out of the fight, so you can kill off the initial threat, which is normally the melee mobs, and then deal with the ranged um, mobs after that. So I'll just uh, unpause this and I'll show you a few bits and bobs. Taunt is one of those things that you'll want to have your warrior set up to do because it's very handy to get these mobs off of casters whether it's healers or not. But anyhow, that's it. That's the basics. I hope you've enjoyed this very basic intro to Combat Tactics and Dragon Age Origins and Awakening and... Look forward to seeing you again sometime. See ya.